April 23, £1.55 Tesco. This is a demo of the Google Pixel 6a phone. Good stabilisation. I think. Cactus. Bought from a big Tesco. The Polish section. Not refrigerated. Pair. Per 100 millilitres it says, 20 kcal, that's a very little, there's only 1% cactus in it really. Prickly pear, 1%. Bit awkward to show you this, but with most of these drinks it's usually apple concentrate that's the most. I think this is the same here, 35% apple, it's a bit awkward this. But uh, the prickly pears are one we're all interested in, isn't it? This is going to be interesting. Maybe cactus has a very big taste. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Yeah, you just keep going. It's a bit green. It's nice. I'm going to give that a 8 out of 10 as a starter. The poles have done it again. The lid goes back on like that, you see. I've put it away up here, but you've not got there. Yeah, it's alright. I prefer putting it on there at that moment. I'm not sure how to describe it. It's like rose water or something, but it's really. I can drink the whole, I think I can drink the whole lot, easily, and it's, it's very different, almost like pear juice I suppose, something like that, if such a thing exists, you never see pear juice really do you, but yeah, something like that, this is a bit awkward, it's got sugar and sweetener, but even still it's very, very low, on uh, carbs, on calories, it's non-carbonated, it's pasteurised, no preservatives, ingredients, water, apple juice from concentrate, 35% apple puree, 5%, so juices from concentrate, it's got lime 1%, prickly pear 1%, the big one, sugar, acidity, regulators, and there's all the other things it's got, it's got curcumin in there, maybe f for colouring, I don't know, flavourings. Yeah, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 as a starter. I think I'll buy it again. And it tastes a bit like, sort of like pear juice or melon juice or something like that. And it's just amazing. I wonder if it's that, that 1% of cactus that's really creating the whole taste. For a minute I thought it had passion fruit in it, you know, it had that sort of thing. But yeah, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, a hundred millilitres. This is the third Polish drink that I've bought. All of them out of Tesco so far. A big Tesco. Probably can't get them in smaller ones. Actually, the first one was from Lidl, a carrot drink. The second one was a banana drink out of Tesco. And now this one. And I have to say that all three of them are probably on my top list of standard ones that I would buy. Not only are they cheap, but they all really taste here. I mean, they're all in the 8 out of 10 range. Probably even higher. And... I'm going to, yeah, you know what I mean? In fact, it's so good I'm in danger of drinking the whole lot in one go. To me, it's like a flowery drink, you know? 
Yeah, the Polish stuff to me looks really healthy and wholesome, you know, but I've not heard of any cactus trees in Poland, I must admit. But yeah, this, this is a winner, as is the other two drinks I've tasted. For things like Polish food, you'll probably someone would be really in the big supermarkets, the really big ones in the cities, I suppose. They're really good for kefir too. Like this one's a lot cheaper than the British ones, British brands, but also it's a uh, feels a lot thicker and looks a lot more natural as well. They don't have any. The British ones usually add sweeteners or stuff, and or they they add other types of probiotics. This just looks like a kefir one, whatever a kefir is, but. Yeah, I'm giving it a starting score of 8 out of 10, and that's probably going to go up, actually. It's definitely on my regular list, and because of the price as well. And yeah, I really like it and all that.